I took the border to them. I began busing illegal immigrants to Washington, D.C. And we have continued busing migrants to sanctuary cities across the entire country. And those buses will continue to roll until we finally secure our border. So that is Governor Greg Abbott of Texas at the RNC bragging about the fact that he's taking human beings and treating them like garbage and then sending them to be dumped somewhere else in America. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. Bit of trivia, I was there. I was maybe 50 feet away from him as he was giving that speech. And I was doing live commentary that was very critical of him. And there was a guy next to me who did not like at all what I was saying and kept trying to interrupt me. But anyway, the buses, it turns out, have not actually been rolling on a consistent basis. Actually, by the time he gave that speech, they had not been rolling for months. And the reason is actually deeply ironic. So he is effectively lying to that crowd there saying, hey, everybody, we're being flooded by illegals that we're actually not being flooded by. And I'm shipping them across the country because I don't think they have any inherent human dignity or worth. And he wasn't even being honest. He was doing performative racism that wasn't even grounded in the facts. And this might come as a surprise to you because you're probably like, well, what do you mean they stopped doing it? Haven't there been like tons of people flooding the border? No, as we've been trying to tell you, the numbers have been improving for some time. And the apocalyptic vision of the border that people like Greg Abbott are giving you simply isn't true anymore. And because of that, they don't have enough migrants to bus around the country. And so they've started, largely stopped doing it. And I'm gonna give you the numbers. But basically, roughly 117,000 migrants were stopped in May. That was down from 300,000 just a few months before. So already by May, months before that speech, the numbers had been cut by more than half. And what do you know? They kept improving after that. In June, the number dropped down to about 84,000, the lowest monthly total since President Joe Biden took office in 2021. If you are a person who believes that migrants crossing the border is one of the biggest affronts to America possible, that it's an actual crisis, it's an invasion, well, then you should be standing and applauding as loud as you can because evidently they fixed the problem. But obviously, he's not doing that. And so, because there are fewer migrants, they're just not bussing them. Now, when he's not giving a speech at the RNC, he wants to acknowledge that, but only to get credit for it. And so one of his spokespeople said, Texas said, Texas has decreased illegal crossings into the state by 85% thanks to our historic border mission. Fewer illegal crossings into Texas means there's fewer buses departing for sanctuary cities. So everything's way better, even though we're gonna keep lying in speeches and saying that it's not, but everything is better and um, it was us. That's why there's way fewer border crossings. And we were so good at securing our border that people aren't even crossing other states' borders because they're like, well, you know, maybe they learned from Texas or whatever. The entire thing is an absolute joke. The numbers have gone down for a number of reasons. Texas deserves some credit, perhaps, you know, when you're trying to like shred the flesh of migrants crossing your rivers, that is going to scare some people. I'll give them credit for that. But also, Joe Biden deserves some credit. And also there's international and economic influences on this as well. There's a lot of reasons that they've gone down. But as a result of it, there are fewer buses. And very briefly, the last bus is sponsored by Abbott to leave Laredo and Brownsville rolled out in January. The number of buses leaving El Paso has fallen off sharply in the past few months. The last bus to reach Philadelphia arrived on December 17th. No Abbott buses have arrived in Washington DC so far this year. None are believed to have rolled into LA since January 20th. There was like one bus that had 18 people on it. And so clearly things are improving. And all of that was true months before he gave that speech. And actually bussing migrants around the country because you hate them so much and you just consider them to be fodder for political stunts, that's bad enough. But pretending to be doing that to appease racists that are applauding you, that feels worse on some level. I don't know, I leave it to you to decide. 
Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen, and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the Join button to become a member today.